it's an absolute honor for us in order to to, to show the uh, the first world because this kind of theme the climate change is primarily driven by the first worlds and um, especially from a mitigation point of view and, um, and 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 they realize you know that there are other people on the on the earth that also suffer as a, from the consequences of climate change and that's why they started to look at these other continents that are not so strongly represented and uh, this is the first time that this event is taking place on the African continent and they've decided on Johannesburg uh, and uh, and that's because uh, of uh, our mayor's leading role that he plays uh, he's, a, uh, he's a steering committee member of C40 so he's actively involved in determining the vision and the strategy of this organization and, um, and they are depending a lot on us now to build capacity then in Africa. The C40 is, a, is an organization that, that is, a net, is based on a network uh, and it's tried to, 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 to promote the course and to identify cities uh, that are strong in certain aspects and then to help those ones that are, are not so strong on those ones. Um, and, uh, and, and, th and this is the real value of this, of the, of, of this particular summit was the, um, the announcement of the Megacities report that came out, which basically then reported on activities by cities uh, over the past two years while uh, um, Mayor Bloomberg was the chair. And, and it's, a, it's a real scientific document that is now proper evidence in terms of the commitments from various cities and the progress that they've made. And it highlights certain areas as very strong or popular areas where most of the cities can get their hands on because it depends on your power and your, your, and your abilities. I mean, is it, we, we, we can't solve national problems at the local level. You can clearly see that picture coming through. But you can also see the ones that, that, that's not receiving attention and there's more and more information coming out to say, but those aspects are also important. So, so it's, it's, very, it's, it's very good from that point of view. So in our engagements with C40, and then uh, determining the, uh, the agenda for this particular one, we, we focused on those network uh, uh, task teams, if you can call it that. They, 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 they drive particular themes in order to support uh, the cities, in order to, to combat this particular uh, 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 issue of, of climate change. Now things have changed substantially in the last two, two and a half years with Mayor, uh, Mayor Tao as, uh, as our new mayor. He's a visionary and he, and, and he started his term by taking the, 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 the whole community of Johannesburg on a, on, a, on a journey to develop a strategy for 2040 the GDS 2040, you heard about that, he speaks a lot about that. But that particular strategy started to focus things for the community out there, for business, but in the organization there was also a substantial integration that started to take place now. Because now, uh, and, 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 and I'm also proud to say that, you know, that the C40 has helped Johannesburg to do our first food, uh, carbon footprint, and we, we got the results two weeks ago. So we have been measured, our information has been recorded, it's placed on the websites, in the publications now, and we can compare ourselves with other cities. I'm very proud to announce that. Uh, but the, uh, that information allows us now, and, and, and the environment is conducive for that now, to speak to transportation and say, you know, the, this particular uh, uh, function that you are responsible for has this implication on climate change. Then let's talk and agree on a target and then let's then inform you how to change your programs in order to achieve better results in that thing. Now, this has happened now in the last two years. It's, uh, it's been elevated and it's been integrated and then the various programs that has been developed now is also bringing all that integration together that makes it much easier. So there's a lot of um, um, elevation that took place in the last two years from an administrative level is that, is that we have had the benefit now of our first assessment. We're going to uh, uh, engage with our counterparts now to develop specific targets now that we can start to measure them and get their support in order to improve our information so that we can then do regular reporting on that one. And then that would help us then to direct our budgets better and then get better funding for this course. Thank you.